Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros. And you guys know we love looking at the worst and the best rated items. So here from Amazon, we have the Acer Aspire 5, and this is the best rated laptop on Amazon. And yeah, it's probably because it's so cheap. It's like 350 bucks and you get some Ryzen hardware and relatively modern specs, Windows 11 on board, but it's gonna need some upgrades and we'll talk about that. But first, a word from today's sponsor. Looking for an affordable gaming headset? Well, today's video sponsor Corsair has you covered with their new HS55 stereo headset featuring great gaming audio along with a built-in omnidirectional microphone that is Discord certified and compatibility for PC, Mac, and the latest consoles. Oh, and it is one of the most comfortable headsets I have worn at this price point. It features all day comfort that I don't see a lot in budget headsets. Learn more about this headset by checking the link down below and special thanks again to Corsair for sponsoring today's video. So we've taken a look at quite a few laptops like this if we're being honest. I mean, it's basically a third gen Ryzen APU. So yeah, we've done quite a few of those, especially when they came out, but they have definitely dropped in price a lot. I mean, back when this laptop came out, it probably would have been five, 600 bucks, but now for around 350 bucks, we might have something that that is close to Chromebook price, but has Windows 11 and can actually game on most of your esports titles. And of course, we gotta test that out here. And the one downside, as I mentioned, is it has four gigs of RAM, but it's four gigs soldered to the motherboard, and there is one slot to add an extra stick, which, I have two options right here, guys. Oh my goodness. So I don't really know for sure if this thing is gonna support up to 12 gigs. So I got a eight gig DIMM from Oli, which has the same speed, 2666, that this has in it, or a team group four gig DIMM, and we're just gonna go with eight. Or maybe I just got that backwards. I think that is backwards. This is the eight, this is the four. <laughs> but regardless, we're gonna try the eight to get 12 gigs, but if that doesn't work, go to four. But regardless, with any upgrade you do, it's still gonna be around like 360, 370, 380 dollars, something like that. Um, so still well under 400 bucks, but it's is it worth it? Let's open it up. So we're pretty excited to kind of be able to, it's almost like we're revisiting this. I don't know if we got this exact same one, but I know for a fact we have definitely done some Acer Aspires with the, I wanna say like 3100 year or something, or maybe this exact one. We don't quite remember, honestly, because it's been a long time, but we do know that these things have a little bit of, a little bit, a little bit of upgradability. And we do know that it's a pretty good laptop. I mean, it's actually a, I think it's a 15.6 inch as well, or a 14 at least. Let's just go ahead and pull it out of the sheath here and then we'll figure out what comes with it. So we got a pretty cool looking color. I think you can also probably get it in like blue and you know, sometimes they come in like six different colors. Sometimes they only come in one. I can already see it comes with a two and a half inch SSD mounting, which goes from ribbon cable to a standard two and a half inch, basically any SATA drive. And then I think we just have a power adapter here. Yeah, we got a power brick. Brittany, there's a lot of people I know that really dislike the power brick that goes straight into the wall design. So, you know, if you're one of those people that doesn't like those, this is nice because even though it's pretty low power, you actually get a real brick. See, I bet this thing's gonna be pretty low wattage. It is a 45 watt power brick. And look, how, baby. look how tiny and cute it is. Go ahead and get that ready to go because we're probably gonna need it because we want to make sure that we get the best possible performance. This is a laptop, meaning you want to have it plugged in when you game. Now, does that mean you have to? No, I mean, you can go on the go and enable performance mode, but naturally most laptops will disable any type of performance that it could have. So it'll downclock the, the APU and you'll definitely lose some performance. So, you know, just plug it in when you want to do your test. And then if you want to go game it on the go, make sure you enable performance mode. So let's go ahead and open it up and we'll look at like the ports that we have. Pretty slick looking laptop. It's definitely, they, they say thin. I mean, this is pretty thin. That's not bad. -ish. Yeah, I mean, it's thin for like a cheaper laptop, I guess you could say. So on the right hand side here, we have a combo headphone jack. We have a USB three. We have a USB type C, which I definitely love to see. Kingdom. And that's like, no, it's a Kingston. Oh, it's a Kingston lock. Actual USB-C, so that's exciting. That's redeeming. I was really upset thinking we were gonna have one. We have two more USB 3s, which that one on the other side might actually be USB 2 because they actually labeled them with blue. We have an HDMI out, so full size. You can have one monitor. Here's our power adapter, and then we also have an ethernet, which is nice to have because some people don't want to run Wi-Fi. It makes our lives a lot easier because our Wi-Fi, you know, even though it's uh, a lot of money a month, we, it's not the greatest. So the screen itself is 1080p, full HD, and it is actually IPS. It's not high refresh rate to my knowledge. It should only be 60 hertz, but definitely nice that it's IPS. You definitely get a really good looking screen. Probably gonna it's have a to dead, plug dead. In. It might be dead, dead. This thing Ooh, has well over 3,000 reviews on Amazon, which is pretty nice for a laptop. That's and not even including all the purchases exactly. either. That's just Amazon. So I mean, yeah, there's a lot of purchases of this thing. And every time you look up a laptop, this is number one search result. And it's always like Amazon recommended. Yeah, this does look very familiar. And I think this is probably the same one that we did a video on. I think it's been about two or three years. Oh, 
now. yeah, it's been, that was the old office. This is still, I mean, as long as the RAM upgrade works fine and everything's working good now, then it's still a very capable laptop. It even has a backlit keyboard, solid state drive too, which is really nice. I think it's a 256 gig and it's probably soldered or maybe it's an M.2, but they give us this so we can upgrade the storage too. So if you're More worried storage. about not enough storage. So the main things you got to take away from this is $350 and you're getting a laptop that's upgradable. Cause like I said, this is almost Chromebook price with the Chromebook, you're getting 16 to 32 gigs of storage. You're getting Chrome OS. Like they're not meant to upgrade. They're just meant to have for a little bit run like Gmail. And that's really it. Now with this, we're gonna be able to game. We're gonna be able to upgrade the RAM. We can upgrade the storage. It's nice that you can actually do that stuff on a cheaper laptop. And yeah, now this has Windows 11, so it's kind of cool that they upgraded to Windows 11. So you got that going for you. I think and, it even uh, has like a. I guess it's a fingerprint. I think scanner. it has a. Uh, so yeah. I would say King's security. Is not just who cares? You got a fingerprint scanner. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and set everything up like we normally do, make sure everything is working right, and then we're gonna dive into that RAM upgrade and see which one we can actually get working. All right, so upgrading this laptop is very simple. All you have to do is unscrew the screws on the back of the laptop. And once you pry the shell off, which can be a little bit difficult, you can use a little plastic pry tool that comes with like a foam repair kit. It'll eventually pop off. And from here, you're going to install your RAM. There's an open RAM slot on the right. All you gotta do is slide your RAM in, push it down until you hear a click. Now, if you wanna install an SSD, a two and a half inch SSD, all you have to do is get your SSD and screw it into the included holder that comes with the laptop, attach the cable that also comes with the laptop. Then you screw the actual SSD the into the laptop frame, unscrew the Wi-Fi card, remove it, lift the ribbon cable connector up, plug it in, push down, and boom, you're good to go. And then all you have to do is put the frame back on, and if everything works properly, you should be able to boot up and see your RAM within Task Manager, and then we're gonna show you how you can go ahead and initialize that new SSD. So you can see our drive popping up here, but you'll notice you're like, okay, how do I use the drive, right? You go to here and usually it's not there yet. We only have our Acer drive. So what we're going to do, we're gonna type in disk, create or format hard disk partitions. We're gonna open this up. I know this sounds really complicated, I promise it's not. So it already popped up. It's like, hey, your, your drive is unallocated. So you see here how we have this 232 gigs because it's a 250 gig SSD or whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and make it a GBT. And now it's still going to be unallocated. So now we can click this, go to new simple volume. Next, we wanna use all the storage. We're, you can change the letter if you want. We're gonna make it the D drive because you know it's the D drive. And I like to usually label them. So I'm gonna call it storage SSD. So that you know it's not the main drive. And so now if you give it just a second, it's literally gonna pop up like a USB drive. It's pretty crazy. So now we have this. And then I like to do this for like customers, especially drag it to the top here because otherwise people forget they have them and then they're like, oh, I can't install anything. And I'm like, oh, it's because you only had 84 gigs to begin with. But now look at that. We got enough room for extra games because before we were only going to install probably two games at once, uninstall, then reinstall another game to be able to show them all. So now let's just go ahead and screw this back in then game. Game. All right, guys, the first game we're gonna be testing on this laptop is good old Fortnite, running on performance mode, low settings, 50% render scale. The FPS is gonna be eh, it's gonna be okay. We did upgrade the performance, obviously, with that RAM upgrade. Only running four gigs, you're not gonna get good performance at all in a game like Fortnite, so we had to do that upgrade. Once we land, the frame rate should set out a little bit, but ideally with this laptop, you're gonna be dropping things down to 720p, but we're just gonna experiment with the render scale at like a theoretical 720p to see if that works out. If not, we'll end up dropping it a little bit here, but yeah, as an office computer for 300 bucks, with the upgrade you're spending about, oh, I don't know, give or take like 400, a little bit over that. It's gonna be good for that. Will it be good for some light gaming? The frame rate is a little over place, so let's just dive into some gaming and see what happens. Ah, stay away from me! <laughs> but Anonymous, you're not good enough. Take me out in this very popular Amazon laptop. Go ahead and shield up here, but everything's maxing out at like 100%. So we're getting the absolute best we can really get out of this thing. And uh, the frame rate is, it's, it's getting better, but in some points where you're like looking at a bunch of stuff that's generated, the frame rate does dip down to like low 50s. Oh God, it is stuttery. And if you could hit shots, it wouldn't be too bad. That was Billy Brilliant. Is that Billiam? <laughs> Billiam? Is that Billiam? My homie Billiam. In just a second, I'm going to experiment here and we're going to bump this up to let's say 70% and we're gonna drop it down to 720p because on a smaller screen, 720p honestly doesn't look too bad. It just really cranked the brightness down for some reason though. <laughs> that was really weird. Oh yeah, this is, uh, it's still about the same. It definitely has its lows. We'll see if it actually ends up being a little bit better overall, but it just might be, this is the ceiling for it. Fortnite is not gonna be great. These supposed to be beaches, I think. <laughs> the beaches are not loading in here, brother. Given the price of the laptop, $300, under $400 with an APU, if you do some light gaming on the side and not expect too much, then I mean, you could be pretty satisfied with this. 
I'm kind of curious, you know, just for the fun of it. I just want to see how low can it go. There's some stutter still. Oh, we're going to max it out? All right, let's see what's happening here. 100% 1080. And then crank the brightness back up because for some reason it does that. 30 FPS. All right, I'm going to take on this AI 1080p getting below 60. You're probably going to die here. If you're okay with doing this, sure. Um, but again, there are limitations and uh, we'll try some other games here right now because I just destroyed that guy and just see what else it can do. But yeah, it is a third gen Ryzen APU and uh, at 300 something bucks, I mean, it can at least play some games. Let's try another one. All right, guys, we are playing CSGO and we are on low settings. Let's take a look at what we actually yeah, got I can show on. you guys what we got going on here. Oh yeah. We're low. low. No, we are 1080p though. It's 720. Oh, is it? Yep. Dang. So low of the, the lows. Bottom of the barrel. And honestly, it doesn't look that like it, it, it compared to Fortnite's low low, like the lowest settings it can go. <laughs> it doesn't look nearly as like unplayable. It's almost a potato. It's almost there. There's definitely the stutter still. I don't know if blocking the 60 will help you at all, because yeah. But there are still points where it's going well below 60. Like right now we're in the 40s and 30s. So yeah, it's not looking amazing for this little uh Vega APU, but we'll be playing some other games as well. We're just gonna hit all the ops. Oh, he's ready. One D, one D. Oh. Oh. Oh, bot Gabe. My man Gabe just had no shot. Yeah, I mean, it definitely is like playable. Like, if you're one of those people that, that just likes nostalgia, you're not super like. I mean, I remember back in the day, this would be perfectly acceptable for me for a game like CSGO, but obviously, if you want like, you know, competitive gameplay, you're not gonna buy this laptop. No. Not the purpose at all. It's just been for casual gaming on the side um, and for any other use case a computer can be used for, for working, school, or whatever. And be um, really good for that. You got that, lots of RAM. Yes, exactly. Nice SSD. Extra storage. Just some American. Yeah, Coke Goblin's really pretty good. It's time to shotgun this guy. You should tell him that you're a pro in Valorant. Oh! 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 That's so sad. oh, 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 oh no, he had a chance. Goblin. Coke Goblin. <laughs> Coke Goblin got you, man. All right, guys. Well, let's see us go. Let's go to the next. Next, all right, guys. The next game we're going to be testing is Rocket League, and we're running on performance setting 720p. And it looks like we're getting close to 60 FPS. We are getting some dips below, but in a game like Rocket League, as long as you're not getting crazy stutters, I mean, you don't necessarily need a crazy high frame rate experience to have a good time. This is a game I used to play a ton, have not played it in a while, if I'm being perfectly honest here, but it's a lot of fun. I mean, get a controller, a cheap little Xbox controller like I'm using right now, and uh, you can play cross play with your friends on console and uh, get whooped like I just got whooped there. Oh, nope, he just choked. All right, we're gonna back it up like that and boop, and hit him with the 1v1, woo! But yeah, I mean, games like this, cool. We're gonna be testing Team Fortress 2 as well, which is an older game that a lot of people might wanna play. But yeah, Rocket League, it, it grew here. I've been to run pretty low settings to get a constant 60 and the frame times aren't great, but I'm, I'm enjoying it. I mean, if I had this laptop, I'd play Rocket League like this and have no problems getting a decent gaming experience. Some of those games where you absolutely need 60, um, unless you're really trying to get competitive and sweaty. GG's, look at that, GG, yeah. well played. Is he toxic? Is he toxic? Type GG loser. Nice shot. He's nice. Rematch. No thanks. I got work to do. <laughs> Let's move on to the next game. <laughs> All right, guys, we are playing TF2. Hashtag, Hashtag save, TF2. save TF2. Save and TF2. <laughs> we think we actually got a good lobby here. I mean, I haven't seen any weird like hacker type stuff, but definitely, definitely good nostalgia. We got, we got the old soda popper. Yeah. I mean, this is an older game and uh, optimization has not been done to this in a long time. So uh, the usage of like Vegas six grabs, as you can tell, it's like going from zero to 20%. So probably not optimized for these IGPUs, but in theory, this is like the area or the level of game that you could play on this, like older Half-Life games, older Valve games, lower settings and stuff. And uh, yeah, you can also dive into emulation if you really want to. I need some heels. That's TF2. That's TF2. I almost called it CSGO in my mind, but and I that, didn't. And that's this laptop. I mean, would we recommend you buy this as your main gaming system? No, but if you're going to get a laptop anyways, and you're going to get something that was like 200 bucks, 300 bucks on like the used market or something, I mean, you can get something new with a warranty and it has, well, upgradability to be able to do things other than just gaming. So I think it still gets a pass and is a pretty decent option in 2022. So yeah, let's just wrap this video up real quick. Woo. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking this laptop. Well, what we could benchmark, of course, so mainly just esports titles. Obviously, when it came to some games like Fortnite and, well, really almost every game we threw at it besides Rocket League and kind of TF2, they were all fairly stuttery and, you know, we did everything we could. We upgraded the RAM, we have dual channel, 12 gigs, so we have plenty. We also added an SSD, but this did come with an NVMe as well. So really, I mean, there's not a whole lot you can do with it because it's just, you know, it's a Ryzen 3 and it's third gen. So it's definitely a little bit older and it's not 
not designed for gaming, but the fact that it can is pretty cool. So if you want to take a look at this thing on Amazon and maybe buy some of the upgrades, check the links down below. They will be affiliate links and will help us out. For a new laptop, it really doesn't get much better at this price point, but obviously if you spend more money, you can get something like a 5500U for like 450 bucks, about a $100 price increase. But there are other options on the market that we have reviewed, but I think for the money still, and considering how many people have bought this thing, get it, upgrade it, and you'll be very happy. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Peace out. So many of you probably already know by now, we do build lots of computers and sell them at PCBros.tech, but we actually do sell quite a few laptops like this and higher end as well. Buy gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and a bunch of other tech stuff over at PCBros.tech, and if you use code ToastyBros2 on checkout, you can save that 2%. Buy a PC today, link down below. See you guys later. Peace Goodbye. out.